To import new 3D models into the Giants Editor, it's best to use i3D files exported directly from Blender. While the new Giants Editor does support FBX files, we recommend saving the object as an i3D file, as it not only saves you having to convert the files in Giants Editor, but also means that you can import the object complete with correct properties and attributes. The Giants Engine SDK panel includes all the appropriate exporter plugins. The plugins can be found in the GDN, the Giants Developer Network. In order to download the plugins, you will need to have a registered user account with us and be logged in. When logged into the GDN, you can find the relevant exporter plugins under Downloads, with plugins available for the 3DS Max, Maya and Blender applications. Once the relevant files have been downloaded, we can begin the installation. The setup program has two different options for installing the exporter plugin. The first and easiest is the new and fully automatic plugin installation. For this, the setup program should detect the version of Blender that we have installed, as we can see in the window here. All we have to do now is click the Install button, and the necessary files will be copied over automatically by the installer. The other method for installing plugins is through manual installation, which those of you who've used earlier versions of the exporter will already be familiar with. As we have already performed the automatic installation, we can now close the setup program and start Blender. As described at the end of the installation, we can enable the exporter by going to the menu and clicking File User Preferences. In the window that then opens, select the tab labeled Add-ons. From here we need to enable Community Options and Game Engine before we can activate the i3D tools. Finally, we click Save User Settings to save the changes we've made. In the next chapter, we'll learn how to export a small test scene from Blender as an i3D file.